Nothing says I don't mess around. It's like slicks on the back of a half cut. Well, why wouldn't you? You buy them in pairs. You buy them in pairs. You buy them in pairs. Them in pairs. Everything. It's broken. What's up you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my vlog. Super exciting day today. We're heading to the Sherwood Motor Cars, Cars and Coffee. We're gonna meet Dawn's Life there, 24 seven exotics. We've got our cars here, we've got Jamie. <laughs> and a cold star, a crazy cold star. We've got Justin. So guys, I actually missed the last Cars and Coffee by Sherwood Motor Cars. I was a little bit occupied. And when I started seeing the photos and pictures online, I was actually upset that I had missed it because it looks like such a great event. They had a rev contest, they had awards afterward, and just an overall great crew from anything from beat up Civics to Lamborghini Aventadors. So really looking forward to this event. I hope you guys enjoy it. And we will see you in a few minutes when we get there. Guys, it's safe to say things are bumping down here. We got a bit of everything going on. We got Paul Bassett's Anniversary Edition C8. We've got Ryan's McLaren over here. I don't even know, there's a bit of everything, but we gotta find the guys. Look at this, we've got lowered F-150s coming through here. I'll show you. Nothing says I don't mess around, like slicks on the back of a half cut. Look at the stance on this thing. There is just everything happening down here right now. Another C8. The funny thing about the C8 is when they first came out, I had one of the first ones in Saskatoon where I reside and I ordered it from Edmonton where I currently am. Anyway, you never saw them. There's like five at the show. It's crazy. The C8's like multiplying everywhere, but uh, a lot of cool cars around here for sure. No shortage of them. Really nice R6 over here. I'll show you guys. Slam Silverados. These never get old to me. I think I've owned probably 10 of these and they still don't get old. The old Subi. Oh, this thing sounds greasy. Again, with the big slicks, like I said. Nothing says I don't mess around, like slicks. Big fuel cell, obviously, because it's topped in the diff, but you can see it's got a spool too, it barely wanted to turn. Where's this guy going? That was one of the guys I was worried about revving against in the red rock, so maybe it's one less thing to worry about. Dawn slash carry, this is ridiculous. Look at everybody's vehicle so small, and then your giant Escalade full of IKEA stuff. There's <laughs> this giant military grade Escalade here. Cars, start your All right, guys, Dave's getting ready for the rev off here. This thing has to be at full running temp before we uh, start popping and banging, so we're gonna get warmed up here. Jamie, fire that thing up. It says it's in sleep mode. Oh, you gotta shake the key around. There you go. There you go. Pretty loud, eh? That's a right, different go. You remember the last one that this car shut down? Yeah. What are you thinking? Oh, bro. <laughs> All day long. Yeah. As soon as these three cars fired up, yeah. the crowd just came oh, yeah. out. So you heard it here first, and second, and 17th. We're shut her, shut her down. Yeah, shut her down. <laughs> is it What is this? This is a 2023 season opener. I hear like four people. We're gonna go one more time. If I don't hear you, you guys all gonna go home. I'm not happy. One, two, three. Are you excited for Cars and Coffee? There we go. That sounds
126. You think an air impact gun runs on 120? How? 126, 125. Yeah. And the crowd jumped like when I hit that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I jumped. Yeah. I watched everybody in front of it jump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Either way, it is what it is. I'm here for a good time. Oh, thank you. Shout out to Sherwood for this on a 30 degree day. All right, guys, we're here in the showroom of Sherwood Border Cars. Let me show you around. We have just about everything a guy could ever want. Perk on McLaren pulling in, speaking of. McLaren right here, 720. There's another McLaren back there. That's the new hybrid, um, I can't remember what it's called, the hybrid. $1.5 million Lamborghini sitting there, 2020. All right, moving on. We got Jamie leading the tour here. Yeah. You know what's crazy about Porsche, Jamie? I love them, what's up? I know you love them. This could be a $80,000 Boxster or a $300,000 911. R35. 488. I'm so over having muscle cars. That's my like number one no. dream car to ever have. No, just I'm that. So over it. Just that. This is beautiful. Doesn't matter. It's sold. This. This is what I need. You need? You drive a train for a living. You don't need this. I thought about <laughs> trading the portion on the white Bentley. The car. Oh yeah, Leah sat in this Bentley. She actually wasn't crazy about it. This one. Yeah. Like I said, guys, they have a bit of everything around here. David just said, hey, what's going on around here? Whole lot of stuff. Cars and coffee, season kickoff. The SVJ, did it finally sell? It sold. It sold, how much, 1.5? 1 1.2. 1 1.2 million. Is that an SV or what is that one? Uh, an Ultimate. Ultimate. So the last generation of what the Aventador was. Yeah. One of 350 made, the same guy that bought that one, bought that one. Well, why wouldn't you? You buy them in pairs. You buy them in pairs. You right? buy them in pairs. Everything's better. Chump change. Yeah, GT3. 2010 original owner, bought it new, and he did all the custom interior. So he did like the Alcantara on the roof, okay. on the seats, on the door panels, uh, Sharkbrook's exhaust, only has 20,000 kilometers. How much is this? Because Jamie is in the market for a new Porsche. 399. No. Yeah. no, no, David, you said this is a 2010. Yes. No, 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 no It's no. the last generation of the manual GT3 yeah. RS. Oh, did you, it's a manual? It's a manual. Oh, oh okay, oh. yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> There's the hundred thousand dollar upgrade. There's the difference. Yeah. Listen, love to chat. You're busy, and I gotta get a cinnamon bun for my wife before yep. they sell out. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you do all the good stuff: like, subscribe, share it with your friends, tag some friends. Make sure you drop a comment, positive, negative, I don't care. Drop a comment. Let's get the rollout here before we take off. Uh, no? three ever made has always impressed me and I'm always tempted to buy one. Let's throw it out there real quick. Sir, what do you do for a living? Now, is that classified as distracted driving or where does that fall in? Uh, classified as police work. <laughs> police work. Oh, that's, I see now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, you need a burnout on your way out of here? Or? Uh, no. No. <laughs> lights? You got lights? Come on. There you go.
Well, boys, overall, successful trip. Success was. Um, I think I figured out what was up with the uh, decimal reader. What's that? Well, did you happen to notice that the CRX read nearly identical to what the other car read? Yeah. I don't think you reset it. I did reset it. I don't think you pushed the button hard enough. Well, maybe. That CRX, when it started bouncing, I have it on GoPro, everybody jumped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it definitely won. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, got my wife some treats here I'm going to take inside. And, uh, you know what they say? Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you filming me?